Ngayong episode, pupunta naman tayo sa Malaysia. Yes, makakarating na rin ang Agri sa Agri sa Malaysia. Kasama ang UAPI team at ang kanilang founder CEO na si Ben Mead. I'm Ben Mead, I'm the founder and CEO of Iba Botanicals and its wholly owned subsidiary United Agawood Plantis. As the leader of the Philippines agawood industry, today we are commencing a very important research and development initiative here in Malacca in Malaysia. Malacca being the original home of Aquilaria malacensis, hence the name Malacca malacensis. Uh, today the research and development initiative concerns the inoculation aspect of agawood production which for me is really the most important part. We have also licensed a really exciting inoculation technology developed by University of Malaysia which is Udino. A lot of research and development has been done with Udino and I've certainly uh, spent many many hours working through the days there and collaborating with the scientists. Pupuntahan namin ang Bioaromatic Research Center sa Kuantan, Pahang, Malaysia. Mula sa Manila, babiyahi tayo ng Kuala Lumpur at sasakay pa uli ng domestic papuntang Kuantan, Pahang para mapuntahan ang Bioaromatic Research Center para makilala ang scientists na nagdevelop ng kanilang world-class agarwood inoculant. Yeah, of course, we'll introduce and very, very proud to introduce to you the inventor, the expert who created this very amazing inoculant. And of course, everything all about agarwood, we will tackle it with our professor, Dr. Saifu. Sir, thank you for having us and thank you yeah. for uh, joining us here at Agri sa Agri. Isang karangalan na ma-interview natin ang scientist na mismo na gumawa ng inoculant. Uh, I'm Dr. Saiful from the Bioaromatic Research Center. So my background is the analytical organic chemistry. I have uh, more than 20 years experience uh, in the agout industry. So my focus in the agout industry is the inoculation technology, which is product is the Udino. At nakapasok din tayo sa kanilang laboratorio kung saan ginawa na i-develop ang kanilang inoculant. Pakinggan natin ang kanyang pagbabahagi dito sa Agri sa Agri, Malaysia. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Oh, ilabas ang passport. Kawai, ilabas ang passport. Ilabas ang mga passport. May iwan pag walang passport. <laughs> ilabas ang passport. Kamusta ang mga biyahero? Gutom na kami. Gutom na. So we arrived. Nice place. Shafiq, say hello. Hi guys. Shafiq Daniel. The most handsome and the earliest here in Kuala Lumpur now but we are in Pantan. Yes sir. Greet them in your language. Assalamualaikum semua. Apa kabar? Nice place. Welcome to my home here in Kuantan. Agri 
Alicia Agri, talking about technology and agar wood, especially inoculation. I'm sure you've heard about Odino. We came here all the way from Manila. We are meeting the inventor, the creator of this technology that we all want to have in our agar wood plantation. Yeah. Of course, we'll introduce and very, very proud to introduce to you the inventor, the expert who created this very amazing inoculant. And of course, everything all about agar wood. We will tackle it with our professor, Dr. Saifu. Sir, thank you for having us and thank yeah. you for uh, joining us here at Agrisa Agri. Introduce yourself and maybe you can greet them. Uh, thank you. Welcome to the Bioaromatic Research Center. Mm. Uh, I'm Dr. Saiful from the Bioaromatic Research Center. Mm. So my background is the analytical organic chemistry. I have uh, more than 20 years mm. experience uh, in the agout industry. Mm. So my focus in the agout industry, I divide to four stage. Number one is the plantations. Uh, number two is the inoculation technology, mm -hmm. which is a product is the Udino. Uh, number three, uh, I developed the certificate of analysis for the quality control of the agar wood oil and agar wood, wood chips. And then uh, the last one, uh, we developed the products like the perfumes uh, based on the agar wood. This university is the University Malaysia Pahang Al Sultan Abdullah. Mm -hmm. So this is the TVEX University, Technical Vocationals. We are focused on the technical and vocational. Okay, one of the uh, focus area in this university, we develop the Bioaromatic Research Center. Uh, this center actually they focus on the aromatic plant, which is we can found in the Malaysia. For example, like the agarwood, uh, patchouli, uh, lemongrass, and others. So, uh, based on uh, this aromatic research, we focus on uh, several part of the research. Like the number one, we focus on the technology of the uh, plantation, mm -hmm. and then number two, we focus also on the uh, technology in the extractions, mm -hmm. and then uh, number three, we focus on the products uh, developments. This bioaromatic research center is. Uh, what we call here is a really focused center uh, in the aromatic plant. Mm -hmm. uh, start from the fundamental research, uh, innovations, and anti to the commercialization uh, products. Yeah, the whole value chain related to the aromatic plant. Two methods here. Number one, we use this uh, technology is a bottle. Okay. After we add the inoculant finish absorb to the tree okay and then we close with the uh, infected bamboo i first met with professor Seifel around about two years ago so he leads the university of malaysia pahang bioaromatics research center so this is a dedicated research center for agarwood and other botanicals though to date the vast majority of their efforts have been on agarwood production and i was extremely impressed with their very structured and scientific approach to inoculation and, and agarwood production. Udino, which is their signature product, the inoculant that we've licensed exclusively for the Philippines. So United Agarwood Planters represents this product for our plantations and any third party planters exclusively in the Philippines. I was impressed that um, the approach they took in developing the product was to go and identify uh, the chemical compounds in the wild agarwood uh, at different grades. So they collected different grades of agarwood in the jungle under a special license from the Malaysian government. They then identified the compounds that correlated to the more premium quality or, or the higher demand for the, for the wild agarwood. What they found is that um, a certain type of compound called um, sesquiterpenes, basically a very strong positive correlation between the level of sesquiterpenes and the value and, and demand for the agarwood. So more sesquiterpenes, higher demand, higher price. They then continued to refine their inoculant to maximize uh, the production of the, the natural occurrence of these sesquiterpenes in the artificially inoculated agarwood. And it's very safe to say today, and I know because I've seen this firsthand with Dr. Seifel, that trees inoculated, so plant legal registered 
plantation trees inoculated with Udino produce a quality that is on par with wild agarwood, such that when that plantation product is presented to buyers, if they're not told this is from a plantation, they think this is a wild quality of agarwood, and that's very, very exciting. The 10 mm. So around here, maybe you need to adjust, okay, of the injection. I have more than 15 years, okay, develops the inoculations uh, products. It's based on the fundamental research, mm -hmm. enter to the wild agarwood in the forest. We try to identify, we try to understand mm -hmm. what is the situations or the mm -hmm. conditions, uh, the formations of the high quality of the agarwood. What is the factors influence uh, the formations of the agarwood mm -hmm. in, uh, for the wild tree? Based on this idea, this information, mm -hmm. we collect all the high quality agarwood data high quality agar resin and then we try to classify what is the main factors uh, contribute to the formations of the high quality of agar wood. Mm -hmm. So based on this one, we pattern one product mm -hmm. we call the Udino. Udino is scientific products okay, based on the organics free from all the chemicals we develop, we aim, we assume we target, we can produce the quality of the agar wood mm -hmm. uh, similar like the Y1 uh, today. We can say that we are success mm -hmm. to produce the high quality of the agar wood mm -hmm. resin similar to the Y1 based on the human factors like the previous method and the modern methods, yeah. the modern techniques. Yeah. That, that is our achievement for the Udino. That's very great news. So basically, yeah. you are able to, to discover the, the components of how it's happened in the wild yeah. and bring it uh, into the laboratory okay, right. and then put it in the bottle and uh, to be able ask for right. us to use yes. for our agar tree. Yeah. And uh, it's organic. Organic. Yeah, that's the, the key tree. word, organic. Yeah, let's talk about uh, organic and synthetic. Are there any um, threat if there is like other inoculants that uh, has uh, this all elements that can be harmful to the environment? One is for the to the human, and uh, secondly is it might affect uh, the surrounding environment, especially the other farms with uh, their fruit bearing trees mm. and their crops. Yeah. Are there any implications regarding uh, other types of components that is being used for or inoculants? Yeah. Based on my experience mm -hmm. and my observations mm -hmm. uh, for the agout player in the industry, so we need to like so be careful mm -hmm. with the other products. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we don't know about the contents of the inoculant. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, many of the inoculant products in the market now. Uh, I think they have no like the scientific uh, ingredients, mm -hmm. right? Uh, scientific uh, process to produce the inoculant. Mm -hmm. Number one, maybe this inoculants contain with the like the chemicals. Mm -hmm. Maybe contain with the pesticide. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, maybe contain with the what we call the uh, maybe the chemical compound that uh, can contribute to the environment. Mm -hmm. So this one we need to be careful, mm -hmm. okay? Because they not only give the side effects to the human, mm -hmm. but they also can give side effects to the environment. Yeah, especially to the surrounding or nearby farms. Yeah, right. That they have a fruit bearing trees like bananas, yeah. uh, jackfruit. Yeah. Are, are there any threat like uh, in terms of the importance of understanding the type of inoculant they are using. Yeah, right. Is it very important? Yeah, very important. Yeah, so for, for this uh, technology, it, the inoculant has different ways of developing it. So basically, the di different there are different inoculants out there in right. the market, but they have different compositions. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Odino, your agarwood uh, inoculant, is considered or really are or organic. Yeah. Uh, because uh, this inoculants, uh, Udino, mm -hmm. is uh, based on the fermentation technology. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we try to identify what is the microorganism mm -hmm. which contributes the formations of the agar resin, mm -hmm. and then we try to culture. We go to the uh, fermentation uh, technology, 
and then we try to storage. So we uh, actually we know about A to Z the process, mm. the formations of the inoculant. Yeah. So basically right. imitating the natural phenomena in the wild yeah. and uh, having it in the laboratory. And uh, there you go. So what more can you ask? Uh, the most important thing is you know uh, knowing the technology. Uh, from traditional way to enhancement using the science and technology and of course using the right inoculant. So again sir, um, it's, uh, we want to highlight even more that the importance that everybody should be aware of that the inoculant is the key thing right. that uh, we really need to be able to have a successful agar wood plantation, agar wood uh, business and of course there are so many inoculants out there it's up to you. You should do your own research to be able to decide which one. And here, we already have the expert. Uh, we, and thank you, sir, for your time. Yep. Our professor uh, discussing, giving his time and, and uh, unlock this uh, knowledge for you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.